Hello everybody, welcome to another video about the Lord of the Rings LCG. My name is Ryan and I am joined once again by Joseph. How are you doing, Joseph? Good, how are you? I'm good. I'm ready to follow Elrond's orders for this week. Right, quest of the week. What are Elrond's orders this week? We're looking at, we must away a break of day from the Hobbit saga box. The first Hobbit quest. Um, to be honest, I do not have strong memories of this because I feel like I played it once and then moved on and never really went back to it. So it's been interesting to think about how to build for this one um, with like I have... old eyes, if you know what I mean by that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have had a fun building for it. I have some strong memories of it. One time I had a game night. I had a bunch of people there. I got everybody set up with games and there was no one left to play with me. So I pulled out this quest and sat down with it got destroyed <laughs> it's really By similar myself, at a game night <laughs> oh it's really similar to uh conflict at the carrack in terms of setup isn't it it is except the trolls are uglier yeah they're they're really monstrous i'm just hovering over they're them very strange <laughs> that the guy bert he's got the weirdest nose i've ever seen in my life <laughs> i don't know what's going on there <laughs> it looks a bit vulgar to be honest let's not talk about that in much more detail <laughs> and tom needs some serious dental work <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, very strange so for the benefit of the audience we're gonna play this one nightmare because um it's not the hardest one uh on normal mode when you kind of tech against it which is what we're doing here um, it's a nice opportunity to use some different types of decks. So before we get into the quest, uh, should we talk about what we're doing in terms of uh, deck build? Sure. Yeah, they are weird decks. Um, you want to go first or should I go first? Go for it. Okay. Well, um, I am using a hero who I have not used before, only in practice games, Denethor from the core set. And that's pretty amazing that I've never used that guy really, considering <laughs> I've been playing this game for about four or five years now. Right. Um, I know what he does, so you exhaust him to look at the top card of the encounter deck, you may move that card to the bottom of the deck. He is essentially like a linchpin hero in terms of scrying, so looking at the encounter deck and deciding whether or not you want to reveal that card or um, moving it to the bottom, it gives you some control over the round essentially, doesn't it? It's very similar to Henmarth River Song. Mm -hmm. um, but I've never really played a full scrying deck before, um, and so that is what I've built here. Um, I've got Denethor, Sam Gamgee, and Folko Boffin. So I start with a really low threat of 21. The reason for that is because there's a lot of um, secrecy scrying cards, like the one in my hand, mm -hmm. Risk Some Light, which lets you look at the top three cards in the encounter deck. And again, you can decide what order you want to look at them, uh, what order you want to reveal them in, sorry. And you can even move one to the bottom of the encounter deck there, with, uh, very similar to Denethor. Um, and the reason I kind of settled on this build for this quest is because first of all there are almost no enemies in the encounter deck there are three enemies both in normal and nightmare i think you get these mm -hmm. what are they i think it's a suspicious crow in normal mode <laughs> which right. is then upgraded to a murder of crows um in nightmare which is the best card title isn't it yeah amazing <laughs> oh there you go thanks for that um so there's not much point in trying to build for consistent combat really, because there won't be any. Uh, not until the trolls come into play anyway. Um, and the main threat, I think, in this quest is the treacheries, because there are tons of them, and they're mostly pretty bad. Yeah, they're all. So, most, yeah, yeah, almost all of them. Very I, bad. When I have a quick skim through, so you've got um, ones that kill characters that are in sacks, because this is the quest with the sack mechanic, where um, your heroes or allies end up in sacks. Stuff that deals damage to allies stuff that discards all your non-treasure, non-objective attachments, and this Nightmare one, this is probably the worst one. Would you agree? Mints them fine? Mm -hmm. um, yes. When revealed, each engaged troll enemy makes an immediate attack. If the players are at stage 1, immediately advance to stage 2A. So if you get that turn 1 before you're set up, it could be good game. <laughs> really? Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that was the thinking in, in my deck, is that I'm going to try to use scrying cards to really control what comes out and get rid of some of these nasty treacheries without ever having to reveal them. Um, how about you? So I had the same thought where I don't want to deal with the treacheries, but instead of dodging them, I decided to just cancel them all. So my deck is filled with Test of Will, Dwarven Tomb, um, I have a couple side quests, and the... 
halfling bounder and I have the uh, Galadrum Weaver to put the test wheel back in my deck. And then I went for a low threat as well. Not as low as you, but I have Galadriel here to keep my threat from going up too much. I got some of the standard Elrond's councils. And then I had some Galadrum's greetings in here, but instead I swapped them out for some Kina's lances, which will play off some of what you're playing there. Mm -hmm. And then my other fun hero that I don't use much is Naasia. And one of the hard, really hard parts about this quest is the passive effect on Tom. Troll enemies can only be attacked by one character at a time. And they aren't any, they aren't lightweights, so it takes uh, 13 to kill Tom. So you either have to just chip away with a decent ally or even a hero like Bayor, and it would take, what, three, four turns to chew through. Mm hmm. But if I can just build up resources on Naasia most of the game, get a couple weapons on her, I can take them out in one whack, which could accelerate uh, the end game and let us deal with them one at a time instead of having to chew through them three or four turns each. Mm -hmm. I think Naasia is one of those sort of maligned heroes who people want to like, but you, you use her and you feel a bit underwhelmed. Yeah, I think so. She is a bit tricky to use, but she seems perfect in this quest. So, um, And then you got Arwen as well. Yep. Not, not much to say about her. She helps resource distribution and card draw. Mm -hmm. Got a elf of light in my hand here. I have one elf friend I can put out on the Asia if I get it and push more resources her way, but I have so many spirit cards. That's not easy, but that's the plan. Cool. Um, so shall we have a look at the quest and see what we do? So also we've got this Bilbo Baggins hero. <laughs> right. Um, so the first player gains control of him. And Bilbo Baggins cannot gain resources from player card effects. So the main use of him in this quest is to discard sacks and maybe a bit of right. early game willpower. Right. Uh, because there's a location that lets you discard a sack. If it's in, is it? I think it's if it's in play, isn't it? The troll mm -hmm. camp. Right. So the, right. uh, the ideal kind of strategy is to get one of those out and just leave it in the staging area. Mm -hmm. So you get that effect. It does hurt if you have more than one of them out because it buffs the threat on all trolls. So if you get two of them out and then all three trolls out, you're looking at 21 threat just between those five cards. So you've got to be careful, but you do need one out. Yeah. And uh, obviously um, there's two ways, well not obviously, there's two ways you can kind of win this quest one is to quest past the trolls mm -hmm. uh, at stage two and then the other one is to kill them all and we're going to try and kill them all right <laughs> i think right <laughs> given that we got nasia who hopefully can attack them for about 30 yep that's the plan <laughs> cool um so nightmare card doesn't really do anything it just gives the objective cards troll key and troll purse surge mm -hmm. so no forced effects no weird stuff to keep track of it's just nasties in the encounter deck and more weird troll art. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some very interesting pictures in this one. Dwarves getting popped. Yeah. <laughs> right, that squeezed guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, should we start? All right, we got the sack deck ready. We got the three trolls in the troll cave out of there. And then we will shuffle the encounter deck and we oh. get to reveal two cards. Yeah, before we start, um, I should take a mulligan because the card I'm looking for in my opening hand will be Steward of Gondor and I don't have it. Um, so let Fine. me just quickly mulligan. Didn't get it, but I've got a little bit of draw. So one of the cards in my opening hand I've got here is the White Council. And the reason I've got that is because I want to recycle um, some of the lore events. Because mm -hmm. uh, you can shuffle a card from your discard pile back into your deck and I can spend two to actually give you something as well. You can ready a hero or add a resource. Um, so Yeah, that would be nice. This isn't a great start, but uh, let's see what happens. I got most of the cards I want to see except for Test of Will, so mm. it's a little rough, but I have a little card draw. I got Willpower with Ninja. I got some card fetching with Mirror. And Unexpected Courage is good for Naasia, Galadriel, or Bilbo, so it's all good. Cool. Hope you have to carry me then, all right? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> 
Okay. So, so for the setup, we're going to reveal two cards. This is where it can all go get... wrong. Uh, yeah, if it minces us fine, we're done. Yeah. Ah, it's a okay, it's a whiff. Easy one. One reveal, discard all Baggins resources. And Wicked Hilltops Nightmare card forced. After placing one or more progress tokens on Wicked Hilltops, each player must discard an ally he controls without an attached sack card. That could be really bad in four player. Yeah, it would totally block your northern trackers, wouldn't it? Mm. I was thinking more Each just player, in terms huh? of yeah, what it costs in terms of resources. Like you could be looking at maybe four to eight resources between the group yeah. from that force effect. This one seems to be a good one to just leave in the staging area, honestly. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with that. Still that was quite a soft start, which is good. <laughs> I think. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, one card I've got in my hand here is Ranger Spike. So this is an interesting little rules quirk here, um, which I'm not going to do, but it's worth knowing about. If you put this in the staging area, you can trap a troll in it because, which is the one? Uh, so Bert says, players cannot play attachment cards on troll enemies, but you don't actually play the spikes onto him. You play them into the staging right, area just... and then he falls in them. That is a weird one. Yeah. It's kind of cool. It makes sense to me as a sort of interaction, mm -hmm. but it's a bit cheesy. It might be just the older language they use yeah. in the early game. but All right. Um, so before I use Denethor, I think I'm going to draw some cards and try and find Steward of Gondor here. So I'm going to draw two. One, two. Whoa, three Gandalfs in hand. Wow. Um, That's thematic. <laughs> uh, that's a weird, weird choice <laughs> a, a bit. Um, Wish you had three sneak attacks instead. Yeah. I don't really want to lose him, but a, three Gandalfs it might be a bit excessive. So um, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna bung one of him because it'll be a while until I can actually play him. Mm -hmm. And then I'll do Daron's runes again. Draw two. Yeah, I find Steward good, and Glaywine. I'll get rid of Ranger Spikes here. Very good. Um, okay. So I can't actually play Steward yet. I'm gonna do that next turn. So why don't I have a look at the top card of the encounter deck with Denethor, and we'll see what we're up against in terms of the first card. That's going to surge, so I mean, just leave it there or move it to the bottom of the encounter deck. Doesn't make much difference, really, does it? Not really. So, hungry troll. When revealed, the first player chooses a troll enemy in the staging area and engages it. If there are no troll enemies in the staging area, this card gains surge. So, you want to put it at the bottom of the encounter deck? <laughs> sure. <laughs> it, what, it doesn't make any difference, really, does it? Not really. <laughs> uh, I think I'll play Gleowine. Get some draw going. Um, now I'm going to draw a card. Oh, Gleowine drew Gleowine. Well, there we go. <laughs> That's me done. <laughs> okay, I drew a Silver Harp, which is expensive, but good. And I think I'm going to use it here. I'm going to discard Elven Light to Arwen's ability to give myself one on Galadriel. And before I play anything, I'm going to use Gal... Ah, uh, maybe not. It's nice to have a flexible willpower depending on what we see out of the encounter deck. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to... So, okay. I could play Silverheart and Mirror this turn and fetch something out of my deck, but even if I got a test of will, I couldn't use it because I had no resources. So I think I'll just play conservatively, put out Nenya, so I have options there. And then, and that's it. Because if I play any of these attachments and don't have a test of will, they could all get discarded. So that's it. Okay. Um, we didn't flip the quest card, by the way. Uh, it's not a big deal because there's nothing on it, really, apart from some flavor text. <laughs> all right. Seven uh, progress points. Yeah, that's the main sort of thing here is you have to kind of, we want to stay at stage one for as long as possible mm -hmm. so you have to kind of fiddle around a bit to try to turtle here <laughs> just <Right>. love turtling <laughs> this is a tricky turtle quest though. yeah so we're currently up against three um my heroes don't do a lot so i will go for five okay i could also chuck in bilbo if we want him so they make it hard to turtle here because there's a lot of treacheries which add zero threat and then there's some five threat locations. So we could reveal as little as zero and as much as ten. Mm -hmm. So you have five. I could just go for none and throw in Galadriel. That would be nine. That's probably pretty safe. 
Yeah. And then I have Elrond's Council as well. Um, what's the most... I think this quest has a few four threat stuff, uh, like enemies and things in it. So there's a location with five threat and an enemy with four. So if you what if you put in Arwen as well? So sure, we can't progress that way. But yeah, and I think there's yeah. probably a low chance of, um, like not adding any threat. Oh yeah. yeah. If if we get the troll treachery, we're probably done anyway. You know, the one that takes us to stage uh -huh. two. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then we have three and five is eight. Here we go. All right. Cave entrance, one threat, doesn't do a lot. And troll camp, that's the one we want to keep nice. in the staging area. Mm -hmm. So we added four, so that worked out well. Yep, one yep. progress. One. And then I'll go ahead and use Galadriel. Okay. Ooh, nice, side quest. And that really keys into my deck. One thing I didn't say in the introduction is I'm running a lot of victory display stuff, uh, mm -hmm. like Out of the Wild and Kina's Lances, you mentioned that card. So this Scout Ahead card um, helps put things in the victory display. And gives us knowledge about all those treacheries coming up. Yeah, it can set us up for two turns. So, should we go to the cave entrance just to give ourselves a buffer? I mean, we're probably going to put down Sky yeah. next turn anyway, aren't we? So, yeah, let's do that. Okay. It's also annoying to upkeep by putting cards at the bottom of the deck, so I like to get it out of there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not doing anything else. So you? Uh, looks like I'm good. No. Okay. Okay, let's see what you're up to. All right, I really want my test of will. So I'm going to play Silver Harp and a Mirror of Galadriel. Then I'm going to look at the top 10 of my deck, and I still fail. That's a bummer. Okay, I have doors closed, gather information. Double back. I'll grab double back. Yeah, sounds good. That gives us some more <laughs> turtling possibilities here. Mm -hmm. Then I'll do a random discard, and then I'll return that unexpected courage to my hand with my harp. Mm -hmm. And then I have one more chance to find it. I could play use Galadriel's effect. Um, but I'm going to wait. Okay. Well, I'm going to play Steward on Actually, I'll do one more thing. Okay. I'll draw my Elven Light and draw a card. And still no good. But I'll discard that Elven Light again. Bit of cancellation, though. Coming up. Almost, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to play Steward on Denethor. Because I feel absolutely fine about running Steward here. Because he is mm -hmm. the Steward. So <laughs> give him three resources. I'll draw a card with Gleowine. You should have Bilbo now. But uh, I'll just keep control of him, shall I? Sounds um, good. And I am thinking I'll probably play Galdor of the Havens um, because it's another ally. Uh, let's have a look at the top card of Denethor first. Because I could even play Wrist and Light. Well, that's a pretty easy card, so we'll keep that one, shall we? Mm -hmm. Maybe the, it's worth playing this Wrist and Light here to check. Well. I should play that first, really. I'm thinking, what if the next card is Mince and Fine? Right. Uh, probably a risk we're just going to have to take. What do you think? I forgot to play my side quest after all that. So I'll put oh, that yeah. Down. That's all right. Um, you could also sneak attack Gandalf in just to get to secrecy, so your risk to light is free. Mm, I could do. It feels like a waste of a sneak attack Gandalf, though, really. Yeah. We'll just fail if we, if we get that treachery. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so I'm oh. fine with just risk some light if you want to make sure we're okay it's another form of cancellation really yeah alright let's do it it's a bit it's very inefficient one two three but uh, we'll look at the top three cards so I should have done this before using down thought really oh good thing okay, so oh that was one by one never mind we've got we've got two whiffs well, that one's a whiff, one by one, because it says choose and destroy a character with a sack card attached, but there aren't any, so it won't do anything. And then that one, whenever you'll deal one damage to each ally, that's not going to kill anything at the moment. That's true. So we could actually let the two treacheries come out if you want and put the location um, as the 
first card for next turn. Sounds okay. good. Although we're going to gout ahead anyway, so if we quest enough, three, six. Nine. Actually, what what we could do instead is keep Lone Lands on the top right and quest through this and not do this. Just use it as a bit of a buffer, mm -hmm. and sure. then we've got a location to travel to this turn. Mm -hmm. So what I'd probably do here is, is swap one by one and roast them or boil them. Like that? So we know the first card next turn is a whiff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hopefully. Right. Um, and so this can... roast them or boil them will only hit one ally. Yeah, which is... So we can play more allies next turn if we want. Yeah, and he's two health, so he'll survive. Right. Cool. Okay, we'll put those back on top. All right. So that wasn't a massively efficient use of Denethor there. Um, but it only occurred to me to do that, I guess, after I actually used him. Sure. So don't do that at home. <laughs> Lesson <laughs> there. Uh, so we know we're going to be adding two threat. Two. Yeah, so we're, mm -hmm. we're five, six, seven, eight in staging area. Um, just one, so need three. need a quest for 11. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, I've got. Can we quest for 11? <laughs> six, <laughs> seven, can. eight, nine... 10, 11. Nice. With Bilbo. Okay. And then I'll have Gladriel's effect. Okay. So revealing cards is a formality. Mm hmm. So Glia Wine takes the damage. And we get three progress. Clearing this. Yep. And then we can go to the Lone Lands. Yep. And then a new turn. I will use Gladriel, though. Okay. Oh, there's my Test of Will. Good. Nice. Okay, so now we're safe from that um, Mince and Vine, basically, so I don't need to be inefficient anymore. <laughs> um, that's really the nice thing about what these decks do, though. They try and control the game through using these cards that I hardly ever use. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of fun to play them. Um, I'll probably go... I have quite a lot of options here. I'll do one, two for Quick Beam. I just want to really keep the willpower going, don't we? Mm -hmm. And I might not do anything else. We know the first card is a whiff, and I don't have any other scrying cards right now. But we have a cancellation, I can so... the second card if we need to, so... Yeah, we should be okay. okay. I might actually give him the damage, just so that he can quest for two. Okay. Um, I have two unexpected courages, and I'm... Let's first draw a card with Elven Light. This deck tends to not play very much and draw a lot of cards. <laughs> and then I will use my Mirror of Gladriel, top 10. And I really would like to get down to secrecy. Mm. I wouldn't mind Actually, double I guess back. Not secrecy cards. Yeah, well, if you want to put down double back this mm -hmm. turn, I, I wouldn't mind actually clearing that one. Okay. Because uh, it would get me into secrecy as well. And that's one of the reasons I'm using Folco for everybody watching at home is because I want to... I, I kind of get to about 25, and then I'll send him home for lunch and go back down to 18 and then play all the secrecy stuff that I've drawn by that time. Right. So that's what I'm hoping to do. But your Out deck, of the wild. Yeah, your deck makes it even easier. <laughs> yeah, we can go double back. So I fetched another test of will just to keep us safe. Okay. And then I will return it to hand. Actually, let's see what it was. Random discard is... Bounder, I'll yeah. bring that back to my hand, and then I'll discard my Elven Light again onto Gladriel. And then I'm going to put an Aspect of Courage out on her so she can quest and give me cards. Or she can lower your threat as well. Okay. Um, I'm, yeah, I wouldn't mind some draw at some point, but I'm okay for now, I think. Okay. Um, and did you use her to get that Sailor of Loon? Is that what that was? Yes. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. All right, well, um, I guess I'll quest for five. Well, we can quest for basically everything, can't we? Because we we know that we're trying to clear a side quest, so I'll put everybody in. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, Me too. four, four, six, seven, eight, I've got. I have eight as well. Sixteen. On double back? Mm hmm So there's treachery yeah. that does nothing? Yep. And troll key, which surges into another troll camp. Nice. So we have nine in staging. 
Uh, seven progress? Yeah, sorry, I miscounted it. <laughs> Is that the perfect amount? Yeah. Perfect amount. Nice. So go down by five. Takes me to 18. So then there's a forced effect on this location. Okay. After we place one or more progress, each player removes a resource from one of his heroes. Pools of Abel. Yeah, well, I'm going to take it away from Bilbo because the response on it, after at least right. bears an explored location, he gains a resource. So I'm breaking even. Nice. And um, I guess I'll take one from Galadriel. I want to make sure I have enough resources by the end game mm -hmm. on the Asia to kill. Okay. And then before we go to the next round, I'll use Denethor. I know we're going to travel to one of these troll camps, aren't we? Just to yeah. keep the yeah, station under control. So um, I'll look at the top card of the encounter deck now. Okay. I'm reducing my threat. Oh, sorry. To 17. And top card is... Okay, so it's Lot a, or a Doom 2, essentially. When revealed, if there's a troll enemy in the staging area, sack 1. If there are no troll enemies in the staging area, this card gains Doom 2. Um, I think we could probably tolerate that, considering we just went down by 5. <laughs> what do you think? Probably be fine. Yeah? Yeah, it's just a free card, basically. Yeah. Fine right. with me? All right, I'll leave it on top. Okay. Ready when you are. Okay, I drew Ferial. Nice. So I'm going to use Steward now. Before I start, I'm going to use my Harp Oops. Mm -hmm. for 10 cards. I wish there was a way for Octagon to like show that you're looking at the top 10 cards, show what those cards are, because I guess I could look right. at it, but then I have to take control of your stuff, don't I? I can look at the yeah, top 10. Cool. I, could, okay. I, could, I could do that for the benefit of the audience, I suppose. Wow, this is a nice assortment of cards. Bunch of cancellation, right? Yeah. Faint is nice for the end game. I got some questers here. Uh, <laughs> my third test of will. I don't know. Sport, what do you think? Sport for choice. That's what that means. <laughs> What's well, that? <laughs> you're sport for choice, basically. You don't know what to take. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think the door is closed is such a good card, but we're not set up for it yet, so there's no point really taking that as there maybe that test the will just get them all in hand can't ever hurt to have three of those yeah, right exactly random discard bring the bounder back with the harp and then would you like a card and a threat reduction with galadriel yeah i wouldn't mind because we're going to go up by two so it'll keep me on 20 there you go thanks i'll burst some light that'll be good so i can play that um, even after mm -hmm. that treachery is revealed. In fact, I could play it now, potentially. But we got so much cancellation at this point, I'm not really bothered about what's coming out now. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to draw a card, if you're finished. Not quite. I just nope. played an Elven Light and found a Rivendell Bow. And I just put it on here, just so it's out of my hand. Well, te discard. technically she can't take it Oh yeah, it she yet. can't have it yet. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta but, have I mean, Elfrin first. It's a matter of time, really. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you done? Round done. Yep. Cool. Uh, I, I think I think I've got two copies of Furial, um, so I might not play her yet. Although she's awesome here, um, we've got control of the first card of the encounter deck from Denethor. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, and I'll drop Galdor for a bit more willpower. And then nice. we're. At it's tempting to use Rissom right like now, but I feel like it'd be better to set up for the next turn with that, or even save it until the end of the game, because that's when it's kind of useful, is for control in stage two, when the trolls mm -hmm. are around. Um, so I probably won't do anything else, I think. Okay. Uh, I can cancel two treacheries in a row if we need it. <laughs> I don't think I lowered my threat by one, because that's why I wanted the draw from Galadriel. Mm -hmm. So I'll do that. Right. Yeah, we're, we're going to cancel everything. <laughs> and shall we quest on Scout Ahead? Yes. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I've got. I've got eight. All right. Gives us 17. Up against five. We know five. the first card six, will be uh, just Rage of Threat by two. Yep. Okay, that's a bad one. But actually, um, that's only bad at stage two, isn't it? Really? Right. Uh, so so it's, it's pretty much just a surge card. 
Yeah, so force. So when this card is discarded from the top of the encounter deck as a result of a quest card effect, immediately stop making progress and end the quest phase. So that only matters at stage two. So the next part is when revealed, shuffle the encounter disc apart into the encounter deck, reveal one additional encounter card. What do you think about that? We can do that. Hmm? What's in there? Not much. Yeah, just six cards. Okay. Shuffle and reveal. All right, that's not this a nice location. Annoying. Yeah, forced. At the beginning of the refresh phase, place the top card of the encounter discard part on the bottom of the encounter deck and raise each player's threat by that card's threat. It's annoying because there's some five and four threat cards here. Yeah, we're going to clear this location and then we'll have to raise our threat by three if we don't get anything else on the top of the encounter discard mm. pile. Mm. Oh, well. Yeah. So added two, so we made nine. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we get to look at the top six cards of the encounter deck. Okay. Uh, I wonder if I can do that. Oh, three, okay. four, five. I'll just throw them out here. Okay, so it lets us put one um, in the victory display, doesn't it? And then we put the remaining cards back in any order. Right. So this looks interesting. Some good options here. This one's an easy one. Leave it. This one's a very bad card yeah. for several reasons, so it's a good candidate for killing. This one is two, just because it's annoying. You have to cancel it pretty much, or take a big threat bump, or mm -hmm. get two more cards, which could be just as bad. Mm -hmm. This is high threat, but not too painful once you have this troll camp out, so yeah. I think we should leave it. Okay. What do you think? The crows or the no campfire? I think feel like the crows because they can be annoying it's hard to control that i know we've got lots of cancellation but the thing about revealing a random card from the discard pile is so swingy potentially mm -hmm. that i probably would vote for them what do you I'm think good with that okay sounds good all right and then we can put these this one in the order maybe maybe that one followed by that one because they both surge, so right. it's kind of pointless to put them surging into stuff that we don't know, if you know what I mean. Right. Um, yeah. What we could actually do is I could Denethor that one to the bottom of the encounter deck if we put that mm -hmm. as the next card. Because um, it's quite bad, isn't it? It's basically five threat, right. which isn't nice. And then Or the, cancel on one threat. And then those two for next turn? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we'd reveal, all, get rid of this one with Denethor, then reveal all four of these in a row. Yeah. So I might, which as, well, means might as well do that now. We can calculate how much progress or willpower we exactly need. Mm -hmm. Okay. So move that one to the bottom of the counter deck right now. And so, then put these four on in this order. Yeah. And it looks like we'll need 11 next turn. Five, okay. three from the troll camp, and three from the wicked hilltops. So we already know that. Because nice. we're going to travel to that red river bank, aren't we? Right. Unfortunately. Well, I hate that. We, yeah, we want to travel there to get rid of it, but if you leave that lying yeah. around. Um, so that'll move the troll camp to the bottom of the counter deck at the end of the round here and raise our threat by three. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, I've just drawn timely aid. That was not timely. That was no. <laughs> bad timing. I'll draw a card with glow wine. Okay, Welling Hall Preserver. I, I kind of want to drop down, though. So we've only got one card in the victory display, so Keen of Lancers is still really expensive. Mm -hmm. So now I'm tempted on Sneak Attack Gandalf, but I could also blow up Falco to go down by seven. Because mm -hmm. he doesn't do a lot except quests. So I think I'll go for that route rather than use Gandalf. Um, can you spend his resource anyway first? Yeah, I can, because I'm going to drop probably one, two, three, get this guy down because he's slow. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll discard him now and go down by 7. Go down to 17. So we know the two encounter cards for this turn, so no problems there. So mm -hmm. I'll definitely go for this. So I uh, secrecy 3, reveal top 5 cards in my deck and put one revealed ally into play. And it almost whiffed. <laughs> I got a <laughs> Galadrim Minstrel. That's probably the worst timely aid ever. 
Uh, so <laughs> shuffle those in there. But when that enters play, I get to search top five cards on my deck for an event. So let's do that. Mm -hmm. um, I got another timely aid. <laughs> Just cycling. Oh, nice. <laughs> so I'll play that immediately. Do the same again. No, it whiffed. No. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Okay. Um, that's probably it, I think, for this turn. I could also drop Haldir. Um, I won't do that, though, because it gives me the option of Furial. I was trying to get Timely Aid into Furial, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. I will use my mirror. Ah, I did it again. Look, five. Look at ten, and... They're tricky to play, Scryon decks, because you need to do things in very specific order. Right, kind so of, you don't waste actions. Yeah, and I'm not, I'm not seeing cards in the right order here, really. I want to see like the secrecy events um, and not get all this expensive stuff in my hand in the early game. Right, you need to get those secrecy yeah. events out before you're yeah. too high up there. Okay. Um, I'll draw another card. This is another card I rarely use, Unseen Strike. Mm. Helps take out the trolls really fast. Okay, and I'll put down a quester. This guy is nice for this quest because there are some treacheries that damage all allies and you can't take damage. Mm -hmm. And I did get Elf Friend, so I'm going to go ahead and put that out. She is now. now I can play my bow. Noldor and though... Sylvan, so you can boost her willpower. Oh no, you can boost anybody's willpower with that event. <laughs> yeah. But she can get resources from Arwen now, and she can hold the Rivendell bow. Mm -hmm. So I can shoot trolls and gauge with you, which isn't a big deal, but it's fine. Mm -hmm. Done. Okay. Well, we know we're going to be adding five threats, so we need to quest for 16 to okay. clear that Red River Bank. I can do 10. I've got eight, so I'll just pull out Galdor. Okay. So that gives us 16 exactly. So that surges into that, which surges into that, mm -hmm. which goes into that, which does nothing. With. <laughs> Controlled. Mm -hmm. And so we clear our Red River Bank, right? Yep. Exactly what we need. Five progress. And then we can go ahead and go to the Comfortable Light because Bilbo can immediately... Yeah. Free whoever gets sacked, right? So travel effect is sack one, but after it becomes the active location, discard it. So right. Do we even? So gonna, well, sh sh might as well reveal let's do the it sack. For fun. Yeah. Sack goes on. Oh, I was hoping to get that one. I was just about to say I, I like the smelly sack. <laughs> <laughs> Galdor. So highest printed cost without a sack. Yeah. So let's just remove that immediately from the um, action on there. Shuffle the sack back in. Yeah. And then should we look at the top card with Denethor? Because we can. Might as well. Ooh. When spend those resources quick. Yeah, so this is weird because you don't really need them, but except for to take the sacks off, which is not very often. Well, Unless you want to go to the troll cave and get the treasures, which is kind of a campaign thing. Yeah, I mean, we could, we could um, prevent it, or I could spend his resources on this before it comes out. So I could, right. I could reshuffle a wrist some light and you could add a resource if you want or draw a card. Mm -hmm. You want to do that? Sure. Sounds fun. Okay. So I'll spend two of them. Um, I can do that, right? His resources can be spent mm -hmm. on neutral stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he's got Baggins Sphere. So I'm guessing they can. He's a hero. Yeah. Okay. So I'll reshuffle this card into my deck. Okay. I just took a resource on Galadriel. All right. I have another one in hand, but there isn't really anything in my discard pile that I want to reshuffle back in, really, except Falco. Right. <laughs> I it's can't okay. do that. It's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, so. All right. So we can just. Yeah. All right. New turn. So we're on turn six now. Should be <laughs> when it once Octagon updates. That's what the log says. Yeah. I'll go ahead and use my mirror. I'm looking for my other side quest at this point. Didn't get it, but I'll just grab a Elrond's Council, I guess. Okay. 
do a random discard, pull it back with the mirror. I'll use Galadriel to draw another card and reduce my threat by one. Mm -hmm. I'll draw another card with Elven Light and I'll discard Elven Light to put a resource on Naasia. And I'll put out a bounder. And that's it. All right. We're definitely taking the long scenic route for this game, aren't we? <laughs> it's not, not a quick game. Um, I drew Daryl's Rune, so I'm going to um, play that. I put it on the table. I'm just going to put it on Galadriel's face. Draw two cards, and then um, I'm going to discard Furial because uh, I've already got her in hand. And then when I do that, I can draw a card with Galdor of the Havens uh -huh. to replace her. Good. Okay, so I think I'm going to drop Furial now here because um, it's unlikely that I'm going to timely aid that. And she's basically a replacement for Falco. Looks <laughs> that better. Yeah, and so we know that first card is a whiff and we've got so much cancellation that I think we're fine if the second card is mm -hmm. something bad. So I won't play Risk Some Light here. Um, I'll, yeah, play, I'll play an end to get some willpower down. Okay. Uh, so what are we up against here? Three, six. What do you think we should quest for? About maybe ten, because we know the first card is a zero threat, and I think the worst mm -hmm. we could reveal is um, four or five. Mm -hmm. But you have everyone's counsel, so we can add one. So we'd break. And it. I have Galadriel too. So yeah. So our mastery of turtling just reached new heights. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to quest for. I'm assuming the stage area is going to be ten. So quest for three, four, five, six. All right, that's not Sam Ganji. That's Sam Ganji. Uh, okay. Eight, nine, ten. Or if you just quest for six, I can add up to five. Um. Yeah. Okay. I see. That's safer because I'm assuming something's going to get revealed here. Mm -hmm. All right. So six again. Keep that six. Progress at bay. Yes, <laughs> you're allergic to progressing through quests. You just want to play the same quest all night. All right. No. Bye, bye bye, Bilbo's money. Okay, you'll have to do that. Yeah, sure. Um, all right. Three. Wicked hilltops. So we have nine. You have six. I'll go ahead and add Galadriel. So we'll have okay. ten. We get one progress. That's acceptable. Yeah, that's that's your kind of figure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Um, shall I look at the top card of Denethor? Sure. Oh, that's a bad one. There it is. Yeah, so I'll put that to the bottom of the encounter deck. Okay. No mincing you have for to you. Choose if we want to travel or not. Um, I think we've got enough willpower to outquest it. Really. What mm -hmm. do you say? Yeah, this one is annoying. It discards two allies basically, and all these allies are useful. So mm. I'm okay. I'm all right discarding Galadrim Minstrel, but I think we're probably able to quest past oh, it. Yeah. I'm playing Ents down now, so I think we're fine. Once I get a Weaver out, I'd be okay doing that too. Okay. Okay, I've got another Keen as Lances. Where are all my victory display cards? Come on. <laughs> draw one, please. <laughs> nope. Here, okay. draw one. Thanks. Didn't get it. <laughs> Try no, with her. her. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I could sneak attack Gandalf and go down by five, but I feel like I might sneak attack him and draw three cards. Uh, you could use the Minstrel to try to fetch one. Yeah, but then that costs me two lore resources. Let's do it. Yeah, uh, yeah I got one. Good. Good advice. Perfect. Okay, so I'll play that now. Um, actually, what what is the top, what's the top card? We don't know because I just don't know. moved it. Yeah, yeah, so let's do this now. So look at the top five, and I can choose one, add it to the victory display, and then you're supposed to put Out of the Wild in the victory display as well because it's been errated. Mm -hmm. So immediately my eyes are drawn to that one and that one. Uh, that one. Yeah, um, both So bad. I'll probably go Wind Whip Rain. Okay. Just because that one hits you like crazy. Yeah, it's a must-cancel for me at this point. Yeah. Okay, I'll put that in the victory display. The others get shuffled, right? Yes, they do. So it's a bit lame, actually, because I just moved that treachery to the bottom. All oh, right. <laughs> but I didn't know I was going to have Out of the Wild at that point. Mm -hmm. um, 
I guess I probably shouldn't have blown up Falco so early, really. I probably should have just sneaked Tech Gandalf because I'd have an extra resource. So that's something to keep in mind as well if you play this deck. I'm still learning how to play this deck, ultimately. Because <laughs> uh, like Pretty I said, I've, yeah, I've never done Scrying before, really. Um, so let's have a look at the top card of Denethor now, then. <laughs> well, I know where that <laughs> one's going. Cold. All right. You're never going to let me use my test of wills. I'm not, no. I refuse. That's the point of this deck, is to control it. <laughs> so I could play Keena's Lances, but I think I'll wait until it costs me one, or if it's even free. So I'm going to okay. pass. All right. I'll use my mirror again to look at the top ten. I did not see my side quest. I'll just start grabbing some of my weapons. I have a couple daggers. So I'll grab one of those, shuffle okay. my deck. Oh, I tried to show it to people, but I was too slow. Sorry, trying to play a reasonable yeah. speed. Yeah. I'll play my Elven Light again. I get a door's close. That's good. Mm -hmm. So that I'll card drop. lets us cancel anything, essentially, as long as it's the same cards in the victory display. Which right now it's just the Crows, I believe. Um, and that Treachery. Oh, yeah. The Wind Whip Rain. Good. Okay, I think that's good enough for me. Okay. So we don't know what we're up against here. No apart idea, from, this is scary. Yeah, apart from the nine in the staging area. So that means I can Furial this first car potentially after we mm -hmm. commit everybody. Um, so I'll do I'll do nine at least here. Okay. Um, what do you think about adding? Maybe if I add another four and then that won't push us through. Or I could add another two. Sounds good. I can always change us by five at this point, so... Okay, so, so after you commit to the quest, we can look at this. Um, what do you think? I mean, it's two threat, but it's adding threat. Well, let's see. What's our top discard going to be? It's just going to be a treachery, so I think it's okay. Okay. Yeah, we I'm all right with that. Anything. So okay. that's fine. And we're breaking even at this point. Okay, then let's just so, leave it. Yeah. I agree. Right there, and I can add Gladio. So here's our second card. I will quest with nobody. Okay, surges into that. Lone lands. Okay, so now we have 13 versus your 11. Yep. So I can make it 15, so we'll get two progress. Sounds good. Yeah, we do want to progress eventually. <laughs> We're not going to stay here all night. <laughs> Travel there. Okay. And then nothing else to do, really? Nope, don't think so. So, so we will. I'm going to heal that. Quick Beam. I've been forgetting to do that. Okay. After he readies. Uh, yeah. Gonna put this treachery on the bottom of the deck from the location's effect. Yep, so we don't raise our threat. Grab Bill with back. I've got Steward in hand, so that's not really helpful. Draw a card. Another Ent. Overflowing with Ents. <laughs> I gotta use the mirror. Okay. So, where is that side quest? Um, I guess I'll pull another Elrond's councils. And then I'll use the Galadriel on myself, mm -hmm. lowering my threat. I'm just thinking about what to do. I'm thinking we're we're getting close to being able to progress, really now, aren't we? I think we're probably mm -hmm. in a good spot. We have a lot of control out. Nasia's getting beefed. So yep, here's your other dagger. I feel like we could we could actually go forward if we wanted to and uh, take a few of these guys on. Or certainly take on Bert. Mm -hmm. Although I guess it's about so, willpower. So why don't I play some allies? That's the question. Can we keep up with the questing? Right. So maybe if we go forward next turn? Sounds good. Okay. Um, so with that in mind, I'm going to spend Bilbo's resources, be really cheeky, <laughs> and I'll probably draw three cards here. So that costs me two. It goes in the victory display. One, two, three. So there's one, uh, four cards in the victory display. So I've just drawn out of the wild. So nice. we don't know what the top card of the encounter deck is, do we? Not yet. So let's play out of the wild. Oh, look, those crows. Mm hmm. Um, like I shut the door in their face. Yeah, so they're not probably worth 
putting in there again, are they? Because I have traps for them. You've got mm -hmm. doors closed, so probably won't go for them. Uh, maybe that, roast them or boil them? Mm -hmm. It's a bad one. Yeah. What do you think? Sounds good to me. Okay. Victor display. These get shuffled in. So now there's six cards in there, which means Keena's Lances is free. And I see you've got one in hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I'll probably use this to add two resources to Denethor. Okay. And it goes in the victory display. Um, and at this point, I could play another Ent, or I could risk some light, and we know what we're going to be up against this turn. Mm, that'd be good for free, right? Yeah. Uh, no, not for free. It's going to cost me one. Actually, it's free. Uh, how come? Oh, Secrecy 3? Oh, I've been paying resources for that. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, well, it's free. I can't take that back now because I don't know exactly what I did. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> How many of those on top of the encounter deck? Um, do we... Do we... I can cancel one. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. Well, all right. I'll let you have your fun. <laughs> so if I, I'll put that one to the bottom, and then if we cancel the second one, we know we're up against the troll camp. Right. You yeah. could put the other one on the bottom with Denif. Or you could discard it with Fear Y'all. Having uh, the knowledge of what's on top is worth something. Yeah. And I have all three test of wills and I have Glad and Weaver to get it back, so Yeah, so Doesn't maybe hurt. maybe it's time to cancel one. What do you think? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I'm here for. Oh. I want to have some fun too. Okay. So, sorry. I can't believe <laughs> I didn't know. notice that was secrecy three and not secrecy two. I'm used to them all um basically right. like making them one cost. So I kinda just assumed that it was gonna cost me mm. one. Right. Yeah, well, that's annoying. Oh well, but it's good because I'm learning how to play this deck. Um, I can play Build a Pony for free as well, and that's the last thing I'm going to do. Okay. So we need 19 willpower to clear the. Okay. Let's see. I so, can do one, two, three, eight, okay. eleven, twelve. All right. So, um, I need to add seven. By my terrible mm -hmm. end of day maths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 19. Okay. Reveal those two cards. I cancel that one. Okay. And we clear that. And we probably want to go to a troll camp just so we don't have two of them out. Yeah. Sound good? Yeah, I agree. Look at the top and card. Refresh. Oh, good. Um, Doom 2. That's fine, probably. What do you think? Um, I do want to be below 23 by the time we face these, so I can use my Unseen Strike, but it's not a big deal. Okay, then I'll move it to the bottom. Unless you want to cancel okay. it outright, just so we know that we're... Bottom is fine. Okay. All right, let's see what I'm going to draw. When Octagon catches up, I drew a Welling Hall Preserver. All right. You mirroring? Mm -hmm. Whoa! I still haven't seen my side quest. Those what happened to that? Your hands, like <laughs> the length of my screen, it's really big. <laughs> yeah, that's what she okay. said. All right. <laughs> Random discard. I'll pull that back with it. Then I will play this to shuffle Test of Will back in my deck because I don't have enough. And I'll play Elven Light to draw another card. Dwarven 2. I still have one card on my discard pile. And so we want to progress this turn. So I have two feints. Mm -hmm. Or I have the wizard's voice so I can stop two trolls at once. <laughs> and I have Naasia powered up. She's at six attack with ranged. And I have two of these unseen strikes so I can probably kill two in one turn plan. Okay. And then it's definitely time gonna... to progress. I'm going to do this for free, mm -hmm. and I'm going to draw cards because I'm determined to get my side quest, which I still didn't get. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to turtle, you know. We're in a really good position. <laughs> I've never seen so many cards in your hand. And I, I got my like test of will back if, again. If I scroll <laughs> through them like this, I feel like I'm playing the piano. If I move my mouse over <laughs> from right to left. 
23 cards in my hand. Okay. Uh, oh, still have one card to draw. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, All right, I'm done. Okay. So we don't know what the encounter deck is going to do at this point. So let's risk... Ah, I paid for it again. No, don't pay for it. Just use it. So let's have a look. All right, so I'll put Mints and Fine to the bottom. And that... Well, actually, I mean, two locations. They're piling up there. So why don't I put Comfortable Light on the bottom? I'll cancel Mints and Fine. Sounds good. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> to be honest, we could actually use it to take us forward. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Since we want to progress anyway. Treacheries we can cancel are some of the best cards at this point. Yeah. Although, no, we probably don't want to let go because we want to actually clear that. The troll camp. And if it adds a yeah, ton we of threat. Yeah, Yeah. Probably easier to just I'll just control. cancel it. All right. So it looks like staging area is going to be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. And then we want so 3 here 16, on the location. We? Yeah. And then three here as well. Mm -hmm. so let's get rid of that one. Um, I think I'm probably not going to do much else. I'm sort of tempted on reshuffling with some light, but I don't need to do that yet. Um, I don't see any reason to play any other cards except maybe a Well and Hall Preserver to get some willpower down, so I'll do that, I think. It's another three willpower for the next stage. That's good. Okay. Um, so we need 16. I think we need 18 or 19 to actually get the three progress on the uh, quest card as well. Uh, okay. Uh, let's figure it out. 3, 6, 9, 10, 13, 16, 19. What did you go for? Okay. I got 10. Okay. Um, let's do Furial for 3. I need to do this, so I have 11. Three. So we need two more. So I'll do a Wandering Ant. There we go, 19. All right. Oh, did I account for the two cards? I totally forgot what's coming out. There's another one threat coming out. Right. Uh, I think we accounted for it. Okay, I'll chuck it. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I did, but <laughs> okay. Okay, I got oh, another one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's tot it up to make sure it's all good. So we've got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 in staging. Mm -hmm. We had 19, so we make 7. So, yeah, perfect. Okay. Hey, you're below me in terms of threat now. Ha-ha. All right, and then we go to stage 2. Roast mutton. Here come the trolls and the cave. Who doesn't love roast mutton? Can you blame them? Actually, weren't they sick so, of it? That's right. Yeah, they were sick of it. They wanted to eat something else. Mm. Sorry, just interrupt the game there. I love the phrase <laughs> "not drawing room fashion" as well. For the record, that's a really nice turn of phrase. Uh, okay, so they go in the station area, and we can't travel to the troll cave unless we've got five Baggins resources. But like you said, that's really only for campaign mode. Right. So should we go to the key? Oh, we also shuffle the discard into the encounter deck, right? Yeah. Done. Okay. Should we go to the cave entrance? Um, yeah, I think so. What's the lone lands? Yeah, that's fine. All right, is it time to eat a couple of trolls? Let's do it. So I wish I had put another unexpected courage on Bilbo so he could take two off at once. Hmm. But the danger is if Naasia gets sacked. But if we have only two characters get sacked, Naasia can get saved from Bilbo, so we should be good. Well, I've got this, so I can ready a hero. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, he doesn't have enough resources, though. Oh, yeah, he needs two resources. Never mind. That's okay. Um, actually, oh, yeah, uh, I thought we could cheat it there because it says he controls so i thought we could add a resource to bill and ready him but nope <laughs> somebody play tested that one <laughs> <laughs> okay right. um which troll would you like well do we want to take two i guess we're, we're poning it hard so yeah let's take two um i'll take the one that you uh don't want to kill first so you probably want to kill tom don't you 
So Tom needs to die first, and then we can pile on Bert, and it probably makes... Well, okay, I think player. I can kill... I want to kill two at once. We'll see what happens here. All right. So you give me... It doesn't really matter, one. does it? No, not really. So they both are going to sack your first player. So here's your sack. Uh, attached to a hero with the most resources. So that's going to be Sam Gamgee. Be oh, no, it's Nasia. Nasia. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of Sam Gamgee. And then last, the other one is... Boo, that's Denethor, Denethor, isn't it? Anybody else got more than three defense here? I don't think so. Nope, I don't think so either. Okay. Uh, so they so can... now it's probably good to use Bilbo to save Naasia. Could be super trolly and not do it. <laughs> trolly. Ha ha ha. How apt. <laughs> and then All I'm right. guessing you're going to cancel them? Yeah, so they get shadow cards and then I'm going to. Our threat level doesn't matter. Actually, it does. I am at 18. Oh, it works. Okay. So, Wizard's Voice, mm -hmm. Doom 3. We can each choose an enemy engage with us and they don't attack. Okay. You okay with taking the three threat? Yeah. Oops. Okay. Going down instead of up. So that way I can save my resources. I don't have to pay for feints. Mm -hmm. And then I can use them to kill. Okay. So, they don't attack. Okay, so I guess I just... Uh, oh, they can only be attacked by one character at a time, so... Uh, you need to kill it with Nasia then. Can you do that? Yeah. Do you need to Do you need to engage him? Or can I? Can you attack it over, from over there with ranged on her own? I have Rivendell bow, so yeah, she oh. can do it. Okay. I should have had taken the troll yeah, would, on myself. Wouldn't make any difference here, really. Not much. Okay, so Nasia has six attack just from her two weapons. I need 13 to kill. So here is 12. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then she'll spend one resource. She's coming in for 14 attack. And wow. Kills that guy. And then I'll ready her. And I need 12 attack to kill this guy. She has six attack. So I'll spend three resources. And kill that guy. Quality Oops. shown there. I just put my mirror of Gladriel in between. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> grab it back. Yeah, that can be really. There you go. Yeah, I was going to grab it for you. Oh, thanks. Kill them. Own them. And then next turn. Yep. So Bilbo comes to you. Yeah, I got Rosie Cotton finally. So Denethor, he cannot ready attack, defend, commit to quest, or trigger effects, but I think that's probably okay. I'm gonna draw a card. Ooh, my interrogation, but there's nothing in a trap, so that's not gonna do anything. Yeah. Okay, so I'm looking at you. I did my mirror and I pulled another unseen strike mm -hmm. so and... I think William's about to get it yeah and then I'm actually gonna should I did glad reel and a little bit more trickery here I'm going to discard this to get a resource okay I'm gonna play it oh I did it wrong work. I'm not going to discard that. Get a resource yet. First, I'm going to play another Weaver. So... Weaver. Put that unseen strike in my deck. Okay. And then discard this to get a resource. Then play it. Draw a card. Lucky. Ha! It was unseen strike. Lucky I was man. lucky. <laughs> and then I'll play this for free mm -hmm. to draw how many cards? Two cards? Three cards? Three, I think it is. Uh, yeah, draw three cards. Play this to get three cards. Okay. <laughs> Play that just for kicks. <laughs> and just for... Uh... Do you need to play anything else? <laughs> Not really. This is getting excessive at this point, isn't it? <laughs> it's just so many options in your hand. You can cancel things. You can cancel basically any treachery, any enemy that comes out. 
Cancel attacks. Lockdown. Yeah. Checkmate. Okay, let me see if I, can do, if I can do something weird here. Um, I'll do the white council. So I will shuffle Wrist some light back into my deck. Okay. And you can choose whichever one you want. Uh, what? You can what? ready a oh, hero, God. take a resource, or draw a card. I'm going to draw a card just so I can say I got them all. <laughs> <laughs> you emptied the. Oh, you decked yourself. Okay, I've got 11 left. Uh, so I think I, I think I shuffled that out. I'm just going to shuffle my deck. I was not sure what I did. Um, then I'm going to try to draw Rissom Light. So I will sneak attack Gandalf. Draw three cards. Got it! Nice! <laughs> so, oh, don't discard Gandalf. Discard sneak attack. <laughs> and then I can play this, even though we're not in secrecy anymore. Um, I'll do it now. So I can spend Denethor's resources still, can't I? I just can't use his, his ability. Right. So one, two, three, and we'll look at the top three cards so we can control what comes out here. Um, okay. Well, I guess we'll just let those two go and cancel them. I can cancel them all here. Yeah. Um, and that shadow effect, the defending player raises threat by two. Uh, you could put that as the first card and I could discard it with Furial. Or I could just move it to the bottom with this card. Might as well just move it to the bottom. Okay. Nobody's attacking anyway, so... No, oh, all right. It's all moot. So no threats coming out. Let's go gather information. If you want. <laughs> I'll do it. You have no deck. Right. Um, and then I guess I'll play... Oh, we this. forgot to even put the key and purse on the trolls. Oh, yeah. We'll say they're on. Okay. William. Okay. And he is plus two threat from the troll camp. Plus uh, one or two? Uh, plus one threat for each player in the game. Okay, right. So, yeah, that, that would be pretty bad in four player. Yeah, yeah I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> Seven, right? It'd be. Plus the other two. So, yeah, that would be disgusting. Okay, so it's five, seven, eight, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen in there. I make that. Okay. And we know we're not going to add any threats, so I guess we just right. do 20... 25? I'll let you do what you want. Doesn't matter, yeah. No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, 12. I'll do 12. Okay. So I need to add 6. No, 1, 2... Ah, uh, hang on. Don't do that. Do this. 6. 18. Okay. Uh, is that right? No, we need 25, don't we? Sorry, I need a bit more. <laughs> Getting sleepy. Okay. Uh, two feet. So 24, 25. There we are. So there's two treacheries coming. <laughs> You're not even going to reveal them. Just go cancel, cancel. Sneak attack my test of wills. <laughs> mm -hmm. So both of those are cancelled. Got 25. So we clear that. Do we clear gather information? Yeah, I'll go and find a card. Okay. Maybe. Oh, look. Nice. I, can, I can actually take risk some light, but we're about to win, right? So no point. Yeah. Go for it. Kill him. Okay, so William comes down. He does sack two, so we really need Bilbo to make sure Nasia doesn't get sacked. Um, most attachments would also be Nasia. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky a trolls. Sack and magnet. Most ah. resources. It can't be an Asya because she already has a sack. So that can be... Sam? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, lucky... Oh, well, Bilbo can actually still trigger it while he's in a sack, can't he? So it wouldn't matter if it goes on him. Right. So then I will use okay. Bilbo right now to get rid of an Asya sack. Mm -hmm. And then... Finish combat it Combat phase. Play that. He doesn't get to attack. And then I have 12 and then 18 attack. Boom. Gets through his two defense and he's done. And we Bilbo. can't claim either the key or the purse because he has no resources and he's exhausted. But uh, okay. That's okay. 
And then I believe we win. Because we go, go to stage three, which tells us we won. Woohoo! Players won the game. Um, I feel like we crushed that, really. <laughs> you pretty uh, much had control the whole game, and I didn't even use one quarter of my cancellation option. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was good. I think it's worth saying that we built these separately as solo decks. Mm -hmm. um, so they can do it on their own. It's just when you put them together, it totally locks this down, really. Yeah, after the first couple turns, there's just no chance that much is getting through. No, because that risks some light card quality shown with that, with that one. Um, I don't mm -hmm. think I've ever used it before, to be honest, apart from like some really weird... Um, tower bilbo decks with my limited card pool right but it did some serious work there and Falco Boffin has really made secrecy more interesting yeah i i didn't play that optimally i shouldn't have chucked him away um so early because i was a bit short of resources after that but um it tends right. to be from experience like 25 is when i'll throw him away um but with the sneak attack mm -hmm. gandalf in hand i probably should have done that hmm all right. Well, we've absolutely destroyed this quest with these decks. Um, so, yeah, hopefully Elrond will give us something a little bit tougher next week. This is not an easy quest, though. You have to build for it. Mm. We kind of did it, yeah, the scenic route, like you said. We probably could have just quested for a ton there at the end and maybe just burnt the encounter deck down with low threat and never face the trolls. But it was fun to build decks that did weird things. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.